A class action lawsuit filed today could make it easier or at least faster for thousands of Hoosier families waiting on word of possible Medicaid waivers. We're talking about the programs that make it possible for some Hoosiers with disabilities to lead independent lives. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox has the new developments. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of Carla Stemmel, a southwest Indiana resident with cerebral palsy, who the ACLU says needs assistance with all aspects of daily living, whether she's staying at home or trying to go to a job. The lawsuit says changes made in two Medicaid programs have made it impossible for her to receive the daily care she needs with issues like eating and bathing at home, thus putting her at risk of being institutionalized. Attorney Gavin Rose says the two programs have been underfunded for years and forced to operate with lengthy waiting lists. But he says the state is now restricting the people who can even get on the waiting list and kicking off others like Stemmel. What happened last year, however, is that the state completely got rid of the waiting list for that program and instead off offered persons who had been on the waiting list sometimes for more than a decade a spot on a smaller waiver program that offers services that are wholly inadequate to their needs. Rose says the state is violating federal rules requiring recipients to be allowed to live in the least restrictive environment. At a minimum, the lawsuit seeks to reinstate Ms. Stemmel's benefits, but the ACLU is also seeking class action status, which could mean getting benefits for thousands of other possible recipients. At the State House, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. A spokesperson for the State Family and Social Services Administration says the agency won't comment until it's had a chance to study that lawsuit.